Well, the federal government just released a report on economic growth for the second quarter, and CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger here to tell us all about the results. Uh, we saw you before the break with our puppy coming up on the furry yes. friend finder. We would love to discuss that, the cost of dogs, but instead uh, we're going to talk about the economy in the yeah. spring. And guess what? It was better than expected. I hey. love coming on when there's good news yes. because, you know, sometimes people see me and they're like, uh-oh, bad news. What's good news. So the good news is that the economy expanded at a 2.8% annualized pace in the second quarter of this year. Now, let me just go back in time for a second. Yeah. Last year, the economy grew by about 2.5% overall. That was a pretty darn good growth rate because everyone thought we were going to have a recession. Right. In the first quarter of this year, things slowed down. Now we have a resumption of growth. This is good news. And it's interesting because a lot of this was spurred by consumers who hmm. did start to spend a little bit more in the second quarter. So this is all generally very good news and I think that it should make people feel a little bit better that even though things are likely to slow down throughout the year it's not a recession anything close to that hmm. okay so spending on things like are they summer road trips spring well you know when you look at the consumer spending it's both goods and services hmm. so not so much travel a lot of health care that was in the services we saw utilities and on goods we saw autos auto parts even furniture so it was kind of broad-based spending pretty good okay that's yeah. great news and then also the Federal Reserve convening a policy meeting next week uh, what are they expected to do well it's funny this report is is really um, a little bit stronger than the Fed would like. The Fed kind of wants things to slow down so the inflation rate comes down. I think they do nothing next week. We'll talk about it next week, but I don't think they're going to do anything. I think they're going to say, let's look at the data. Let's see if the inflation rate comes down a little bit more. And they maybe start to tee it up for a September rate cut. Again, if you're a borrower, that means these rates stay high. That's not good news. But if mm -hmm. you're a saver, we're still in good zone here where you can get four or five percent on your safe money. So take it to heart. Those rates will be coming down. I just don't think it's going to start until September. Okay. And then I guess just really quickly, I mean, the impact on who the nominee is, who the president is, or that's mm. way down the road. Mm. We'll get I to mean, that next time. You know time. what? I just, I think that generally speaking that um, everyone overreacts to this. Presidents don't usually have as big an impact on the economy and on the overall stock market. These trends are much longer and in place for a longer period of time. So you know, I wouldn't get too like, exercised about this and don't try to guess what's going to happen next. Right. Well, Jill, we really appreciate when you bring us good news. Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, you can see Jill, um, you want to head to jillonmoney.com.